In this lesson, I will show you how to turn your USB stick into a secure crypto wallet. So first off, you need to download Rufus from this page. Now, for those who don't know, Rufus is a free open source software that allows users to create bootable USB drives for installing operating systems such as Windows or Linux. Next, you will need the ISO image for the operating system which you want to install. And in my case, I will use a Linux distribution called Fedora. So download the ISO image from this page and the Rufus software from here. I already did this process and the files are saved in the downloads folder. Now insert your USB stick and open Rufus. And here click select and choose the Fedora ISO image. And click open. Then set the persistent partition size. This is where your crypto wallet will be stored. So I will set this to 5 GB and click start to begin the process. And you will get a warning saying that all the data from the USB stick will be deleted. So click OK. This process may take some time and when it's complete you will see ready here. Once done with that, restart your computer and use the boot menu option to boot from USB. And you will be brought to the Fedora Linux system which looks like this. And on the desktop you can see the persistent storage. This is where you need to put your crypto wallet. So let's download a cryptocurrency wallet. And to do that I will open Firefox browser and go to atomicwallet.io and click download and select the operating system and in my case I'm using Fedora so I will click Fedora and the file will be saved in the downloads folder so I'll go to the file manager and open the downloads folder to see if the file is there and here is the atomic package which you need to move and extract to the persistent location so to do that use right click and open in terminal and type sudo mv the package name slash run slash media slash live user slash persistence. This command will move the file to the persistence location and press enter. And I will also create a new folder using sudo mkdir, the location and the name will be atomic. And I need to give permission to the folder using sudo chom live user and the location for the folder name and press enter. Now go to places and select persistence and here is the package file and the folder atomic which I have created using the terminal. So let's extract the file using right click and extract to and select the atomic folder and click extract. At this point you can open the wallet by going to Atomic, OPT, Atomic Wallet and click on Atomic here to open the wallet. Now select a new wallet and enter a password and click set password. Then you need to copy and save the backup phrase. This is very important because if you lose this phrase you cannot restore your wallet if you lose your USB stick and your funds will be gone. So make sure to keep this backup phrase somewhere safe. Ok, now I will click open wallet and here you can see the interface which is really easy to use. So let's see how to transfer some cryptocurrency to this wallet. And to do that I will go to Binance.com on Fiat and Spot. And for this example I will withdraw XLM Stellar by clicking withdraw here. Then go to Atomic Wallet and search for XLM and select the coin and click receive. Then copy the address from here and paste it here on Binance. And enter the amount. So I will lose the max amount and click withdraw. Now the Stellar Network is very fast so if I go back to Atomic Wallet you can see my balance has been updated. So. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.